going on everybody? Uh, I'm going to be going over today uh, installing the Zoller APAC alarm system uh, model number 10-2614 You go to a lot of houses where sewer pumps or uh, sump pumps in the basement this works on either one, it's an indoor alarm it's loud, customer can hear it you go to a lot of those pumps that don't have an alarm on them uh, it just kind of blows my mind. People, it backs up, it floods their house with sewage. And uh, this pump system here is going to uh, prevent that. So, uh, you know, the first thing you got to do is, of course, this system doesn't have anything in it. But, uh, you know, you got to get the unions broke loose and everything. I'm going to pull this up where you can see it. Typically, you're probably here for a reason. And that reason is probably the pump or something's jammed up, and you're probably going to be pulling it. Because it didn't have an alarm on it, it probably baked something. So, uh, pretty cut and dry. You know, this thing comes with this nice little, nice little float. You know, you're going to, uh, you're probably just going to drill a hole. Do the grommet here. For now, I'm going to sling it through here. You want everything sealed off, of course, if you, especially if you're in a basement. But all you got to do is you got to make sure you have enough room you get a zip tie. Alright, so all you got to do is you need to make sure that this is higher than, of course, the on switch, but where it's not going to get hung. So this thing needs to be able to turn like that and a lot of pumps come with you know sometimes stuff comes with those uh, nice little stainless clamps we're just going to use some zip ties these things are you know effluent resistant zip ties so sewage won't rot at them or nothing but you're just going to zip tie it on there real quick you know, we don't want to leave the little straggler on there, so we're going to cut that off. I think that just looks junky. And, uh, you know, you got that attached there. So we got our, our wire pulled all the way through. You know, you probably want to test this thing out. So you just mount it. It's got two little simple mountain screws to it. You mount it to the wall. You've got to have power. Just going to use a drop cord for now before we plug that in. All right, so we got the, uh, the float alarm through there. There's two little screws on the bottom. You can run like some speaker wire, you know, if you need to. You're going to hook these to the bottom of it. 
it does not matter in what order. Run these little screws on down. You're gonna mount this thing to the wall. Plug it into some power. And boom, you now have an alarm. This is an indoor alarm only, so the box has to go inside. There's multiple ways you can do it. They do make outdoor unit ones, just alarm boxes only for piggyback type applications. But, uh, you know, the alarm kicks on. You can test it. And you can hit the silence button to silence it. Pump back down in the hole. Definitely want to make sure your grommet's sealed up. The grommet right there because otherwise you will get called back for a sewer smell. Reconnect your pump and you're good to go. You now have an indoor alarm system on your, it could be a sump pump or a sewer pump. They work great for both. I hope this video helps you out. Everybody have a great day.